And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at Quick Pick, The Island of Monster Masks. This is a game that uh, is definitely a kid's game where there will be faces on the table and you make the faces that it shows. So if it's this face here, then I have to make that face. Probably not doing a very good job at it. Let's take a look at it. There are 16 cards, they're like thick cardboard tiles that you'll place out in the middle of the table. Then you're going to make a deck of cards that actually match these cards in the middle, and you're going to have six cards per player in the game. On a person's turn, they're going to draw a card, and they're going to make that face um, as best they can for the other players. Each other player is going to slap down on the card that they think it is. If one player slaps down on the card that matches it, that person gets a card, and the person who uh, played the card gets a card. Otherwise, no one gets anything. The card the person uh, drew is out of the game, and the next person takes their turn. That's it. Once you've gone through the whole deck, you simply count the cards that you've gotten, and whoever has the most cards is the winner. It sounds like it's uh, pretty much the whole game. It is pretty much the whole game. There's a variant where you can make noises and such if you want to, um, but that's pretty much it. As you can see by the rules, the game is very much a kid's game. I mean, the rules, by the way, are one small page of rules. And because uh, two cards go out of the game every round, right? So if you, if, if no one guesses it, not only do you discard the card in your hand, you also discard one more card from the pile. So uh, there's going to be three turns per player, essentially, which is good. The game doesn't overstay its welcome. Now, where the game will have some problems is this is not the only game out there like this. There's funny faces, there's other games that basically do the same thing. This is probably the best of the lot, though. The box size is nice, and I like the fact that they're monster cards. And I'll tell you why that works, because I played one of these where there's real human beings making faces, and that's fine. But it's a little easier to copy that, while if I have, you know, this monster face here, making that monster face, is a little harder for people to detect. If you have a person's face, and I've seen ones where there's hand motions, they've gotten rid of that. It's just the expression on the face, and it's funny, right? It's funny to watch people make these faces, and they don't, it doesn't overstay its welcome. It's like three times per person. Everyone laughs a little bit. Kids have fun trying to guess. Kids have fun making faces. Who, what kid doesn't like making faces? So in that regard, the game works. These tiles are good quality. I think the art in the game is very well done. It's a nice little small package, fun for kids. So that is Quick Pits. Dice Tower Judgment, kid approved! Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door! Yeah.